program flow control and logical expressions. Conditional branches. Let's talk about the if statements in ABAP and the nested if statements using the else if clause. And let's talk about also the case statement in ABAP. In ABAP, you have two ways to execute different sequences of statements, depending on certain conditions. In the IF construct, you can define any logical expressions as check conditions. You can use nested IF statements using the else IF clause. You can use the case construct to clearly distinguish cases. The content of the field specified in the case part is checked against the data objects listed in the when branches to see whether they match. In both constructs, the condition or make or match check happens sequentially from the top down. As soon as the statement block of a branch has been executed, the system immediately jumps to end if or end case. Let's try some if and cases in a small ABAP program. So let's navigate to the object navigator, transaction SE80, and let's create a small program inside our ABAP course package. So we right click, we create, and this program is going to be called the conditional branches without top include. We leave the name as it is, we choose executable program and then we save. Now let's make a program when we ask the user for a number from and then the system prints out the name of the month that corresponds to that number. For example, if I type in 1, then the system will print out January. So let's start by using the above keyword parameters to ask uh, a number to the user. So we use parameters name of our variable, month, type, let's make it a type i for integer, so that way the system won't accept characters, just numbers. Now, let's use a nested if statement to print out to the screen the name of the month. We're going to print the name of the month using the message about statement that we learned before. So let's start by using the if. When I, when I type if, as you can see the system proposes uh, a st uh, an ABAP statement to autocomplete the if. So if I type if one more time and I quickly press tab then the system completes with the corresponding and if. So let's type in if the month equals 1 then we're going to message to the screen January and we're going to use a type I so we print out a pop-up to the screen. Then, else if the month equals 2, then we print February, and so on. Sorry. So let's just copy paste this, 
a few more times to I think we have the 12 months there so this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I'm going to type here really fast the name of the month, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So let's save our program and let's run it. Save, check, activate, and let's run our program. So for example, if we enter six, it should print to the screen June. Let's run our program using the execute button and it writes June in a pop-up message using the message ABAP statement. As you can see we can write 12 and run our program. For example, if we were to write a number that is not inside our, our if statements, then the system wouldn't print anything to the screen, as you can see. We can control that using the case statement. So, for example, let's rewrite all of our program, but now let's use the case statement. So, I'm going to type in case, I'm going to press tab, and the system autocompletes for me. So, you can see, uh, you can use the when others a BAP statement to type in uh, another case when it is not a number from 1 to 12. So let's use case month and I'm gonna copy paste this 10 more times. So I have my 12 months here. And I'm going to use the same message type. Let's let th this time let's try another type. Let's try the warning type. And I'm going to change again really quick these names of the month. And I'm going to comment my previous if. I'm going to do that by selecting everything. And then in my keyboard, I press control less than and 
the system adds the asterisk character to all of the lines. So now I'm going to use the when others to display a message when it is not a number from 1 to 12. So I'm going to display this is not a valid month number. And I'm going to use a type E for error. So now let's save our program. Check, activate, and let's run our program. As you can see, I can try one more time. The system displays in the warning type March. Remember the warning type, take us back. So let's try one more time. Let's try this time a 15, an invalid number. And let's see what the system displays. It displays an error. This is not a valid month number. And it stops the program flow. So you can use the case or the if statement to four conditional branches.